Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash, Supergirl, and the Arrowverse as a whole. Today we got some massive breaking news out of the CW TCAs they just did today. So we've got brand new information, we've got two characters confirmed to be showing up. Also we got the official times and dates of the Crisis crossover and what's going to be in the first part of the crossover in the winter and what's going to be in the back half after the winter hiatus. So we're going to be talking about that and everything in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So just quickly before we start this video, I included this in yesterday's video. We had a new outro song and this outro song comes from my cousin, He's called Icy Red, that's his handle, so can you please support him because you support me. That would really mean the world to me if you go over to his Instagram, follow him there. He's got a YouTube channel, you can check out all his songs. So from in every video from now on, his song is going to be my outro song because I think it really matches it. And I was looking for a song because the last one we had, it actually got copyrighted. So I was like, hmm, good idea. I really like his stuff. So yeah. Check out his SoundCloud, YouTube, and Instagram. Go follow them all. So let's get into today's video. So what is the breaking news? Well, yesterday we found out that Crest Lightning was teasing that potentially he would be showing up as Black Lightning in the Crisis crossover. But today we got the official confirmation out of the TCAs. And we haven't got any quotes yet, just to say. But they have confirmed that characters from Black Lightning will make an appearance in in the CW's Arrowverse crossover, Crisis on Infinite Earths. They confirmed this at the TCAs for the Summer Press Tour this morning. So this is super exciting. Cress Williams is going to be showing up. And until right now, they've been pretty much denying, you know, any crossovers. Every time they've been asking questions, they've been like, no, we don't want this. You know, it's completely different. We are fine, you know, in our Black Lightning universe. But now with Crisis, we were all sort of expecting them to cross over at some point. So it's finally happening. And also we got those leaked posters a while ago that were really high quality, which was kind of weird. And it turned out they were true because a CW account, I don't know where in America it was, but they posted a graphic that was practically the same in really high quality. And it will be on the screen right now. And it had Black Lightning in it. So... We sort of got that teaser before, but we weren't sure whether it was real or not, or whether, you know, that was just altered to include Black Lightning, just to, you know, because a fan edited it or something. But no, it turns out that's real, that's all real, and that's all happening, because although Black Lightning is not going to have its hour in the crossover, characters will appear. So they specifically said characters, so I'm guessing maybe Lightning and a few of the other characters from Black Lightning. I need to get caught up. I'm a little bit behind, but I'm guessing there's going to be, you know, at least two or three characters showing up in the crossover. So yeah, the next piece of major news, and this sort of blew my mind because I'm a massive fan of Batman, the animated series. Also, people love him in Batman Beyond. He's, you know, been Batman in so many different films, some animated films over the years, like The Mask of the Phantasm is one of the best ones. And, yeah, so Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman in tons of stuff, most notably Batman the Animated Series, is going to be showing up in Crisis, and he will make an appearance as Bruce Wayne from the future, this is mad, because in Batman Beyond, he actually voiced the role of Bruce in the future as an old man Bruce Wayne, as an elderly Bruce Wayne, as he mentored a new Robin. And so, this is super exciting. This is our first look at old man Bruce Wayne, but most importantly, our first look at Bruce Wayne as a whole, because we've never seen him in the Arrowverse. He's obviously been referenced in Batwoman, and I say that in the past tense because obviously I've seen Batwoman. Go check out my review if you haven't seen it. I saw it at Comic Con twice. I really loved it. Looking forward to that. So maybe this gives potential to see a different version of Bruce Wayne on Batwoman because they've got an old version of Bruce Wayne coming in the crossover. They've been given the rights to do that. So that's so exciting. And the fact that they're doing Kevin Conroy as Bruce Wayne just it excites me to beyond belief because I'm a massive fan like I said and I know a lot of you probably are as well so this is just the best news that could have come out of this 
And yeah, we're seeing Bruce Wayne for the first time and it's Kevin Conroy. I'm going absolutely nuts right here. Okay, so let's move on to the last thing in this video. So the last thing is we've got the official premiere date of the first episode and all the other parts for the crossover and what's going to be in the first half, what's going to be after the winter hiatus and you know what times, what days because they are switching it up. They are switching the schedule up for the crossover as they did a bit last year. But yeah, so no Black Lightning episode just because he's in it. Don't go looking for that extra episode in the crossover. It's not going to be six parts. It's five parts, which is just mad on its own. But anyway, so the first part of the crossover has been revealed from the TCAs to be Supergirl. This is premiering at 8 p.m. on the CW, and it's going to be on its normal Sunday time slot, but obviously the hour before where it is currently because Batwoman is going in the 8 p.m. time slot. Supergirl is going in the 9 p.m. time slot starting this very season so it's uh, an hour later than usual but so Supergirl for the crossover is starting Sunday December 8th at 8 p.m. so that's our first episode of the crossover that confirms it's happening around episode 8 or 9 and it will be before the hiatus break and this will be followed the next day which is very exciting how it's not on the same night by Batwoman for part 2 of the crossover on Monday, December 9th at 8 p.m. So this is taking a different time slot. Obviously, it's premiering on Sunday in October and it's going to play out on Sunday before Supergirl throughout this whole season. And again, it confirms it's happening before they go on the winter break. So Batwoman will have its crossover episode before it goes on break. Then part three is The Flash. And this is actually as I was expecting. I was expecting Supergirl, Batwoman and The Flash to be the first part. And then we go into the rest, which we'll talk about in just a sec. But The Flash is part three. And so this is right smack bang in the middle, practically. And so this is on Tuesday, December 10th at 8 p.m. Normal time slot for The Flash, so no worries about that. But that is going to be after Supergirl and Batwoman. So right in the middle, this is going to be when a lot of the meaty stuff is going to be happening. So I think it's very fitting that The Flash, you know, is right in the middle because it is the anchoring show of the Arrowverse. And then it's great that Supergirl starting because it's the second biggest show on the CW. And then you've got The Flash in the middle and then you can sort of place Batwoman in between. You can place Arrow and Legends because, you know, Supergirl, start off strong, start off really good in the middle, stick it out until we get the Flash, and then just carry on from there. So, that's really good. I think it's a really good plan. And then they go on break for a winter hiatus, which I know a lot of you are fans of, and I know a lot of you aren't fans of this, but I love this idea because I really, really... My one thing is, when the crossover comes, especially either last year or the year before, I don't remember the specific timings, they did it so it was on the same night and it was just like two days and it just went past so quick. This is supposed to be a massive event. This is the biggest event in DC history in the comics. It's got to be an event. We got to be waiting over the hiatus being like, give me more crisis. We need to find out how this is going to end. I think this is a brilliant idea. I love it. And so part four of Crisis on Infinite Earths is going to be Arrow. So this is going to be one of Arrow's last episodes, so I'm guessing with Arrow only having 10 episodes this season, it's probably going to turn out to be about episode 8 or so, maybe 9, or it could, you know, really, it could be the last episode, but I really doubt it would be the last episode ever. So I'm guessing 8 or 9 for Arrow, so Arrow probably in the first half, you know, is going to, or they could just split it 5 in the first half and then 5 in the back half, it's up to them, but yeah. Maybe 8 or 9, that would be my guess right now. But that's January 14th on a Tuesday at 8pm. So it seems like maybe they come back the week, that being Arrow and Legends, they come back the week before Supergirl, Batwoman and The Flash because Arrow on Tuesday, January 14th is in fact the exact same time slot as The Flash would normally be. So that can lead me to believe that The Flash is going to be coming back the week after or something like that. So that's on the 14th at 8 p.m. the Flash's time slot. Then we move on to part five. Part five is Legends of Tomorrow. And so this is the mid-season premiere of Legends of Tomorrow. So this is episode one of season five. And this episode is coming on Tuesday, January 14th, 
the same day as Arrow. I think this is a good way to end it off, to be honest. Although I'm not a fan when they do it, you know, one hour after the other. So it's going to be at 9pm, so the hour after Arrow. I think as a climactic way to end the crossover, I think this is actually a good idea. So the hour after at 9pm on the CW is Legends of Tomorrow. This is going to be the final episode. And like I said, you got Supergirl starting it off. you got The Flash keeping it strong in the middle. Arrow has a strong fan base. And... You know, Legends is, you know, probably the weakest in ratings, but we haven't seen Batwoman yet, so we don't know about the ratings of that show. But I think Batwoman's safe. I think Legends is going to be a nice way to go out, and I think there's no worries about the ratings because this is Crisis. This is the crossover we've all been waiting for. This is the biggest one they've done. So get ready for all of this. I'm so excited. Let me know what do you think about the timings. Are you excited? Do you think the break is going to be a good idea? I think it is personally. And what do you think about Black Lightning confirmed for the crossover? Are you excited to see him and his team? But also, what do you think about Bruce Wayne coming in the future? Played by Kevin Conroy. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.